Hey guys, I wanted to show you my Cracky Hydroponic Cucumbers. I grew them in a $10 bin from, I think it was, was it Home Depot or, uh, no, actually it was Costco. Uh, it's been really, really great. I mean, this Cracky method works fantastic. All right, check it out. So I have my cucumber plants. Um, and basically what I did is I took, here, I'll show you. One of these 27 gallon bins that comes with this white lid. All right, and I filled it up with uh, water mixed with master blend uh, plant food and I planted a whole bunch of cucumbers in it all right and check these out look at this these things are full of cukes look at these beautiful cucumbers let me see if I can dig out some more these these are not ready yet but it's growing a ton of cucumbers and this is only like this plant is maybe like five or six weeks old so, um, now the only thing about this is I wanted to grow them in like a big, like 50 gallon drum because these plants drink a lot of water. So in these 27 gallon bins, I mean, I already had to put like an extra three gallons in it today because it was almost at the bottom. So these cucumbers are drinking a lot of water. So I have to watch that, but check out the roots. I found the cucumber. You found the cucumber? Awesome, so check out these roots down here. Look how nice they look. But look at the water level. I mean, these things are drinking. So it's here we have, blue. yeah, here we have some beautiful white roots. The bottom ones are the ones that suck up water. And then the ones towards the top, those are the air roots, okay? With the crack key method, as the water level drops, um, basically some of the roots are built for sucking in air and some of the roots are built for absorbing water. So once the water gets low and you fill it back up, you never really want to fill it back up more than like halfway because you want these roots uh, to do their thing. The bottom ones suck up the water and the top ones suck up the air. And every so often if you have a seven year old that enjoys gardening, you can give the roots a nice root massage. I think the plants like it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to close it up Charles. All right, so look at these. And then how many do I have? I have, I think I planted uh, six. Yeah, so there's go? there's six plants here. Each, uh, I made three holes into this bin. And as you can see with pool noodles. And each hole I planted two plants. And I was gonna, you know, call the uh, the lesser of the two, but I decided they, they all look so nice, I just let them all grow. And they seem to be doing pretty much just fine. Some of these leaves look a little gnarly, but it doesn't seem to affect how quickly they grow or how nice these little cucumbers are turning out. Like I said, I see a whole lot of them. Look at that. Cucumbers, cucumbers. And this variety, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was like a bush variety, so it shouldn't get like super long. The cucumbers over here. But I put them up. Uh, I put some cinder blocks and put them up on a base so that when the plant starts to you know fall down it doesn't go all the way down to the grass because I think that once it goes down to the grass all these bugs are going to start eating it so I don't really want that um, I did have an issue where a beehive of like 40,000 bees decided to move into the side of this bin and I had to actually call a beekeeper to uh, to get rid of the bees. I saw beekeeper my school. Yeah. And at some point, this thing was crawling with like thousands of bees, but um, I don't know if that was, I think that was helpful. I think they pollinated, they pollinated the living crap out of this plant. So <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's why I have so there many cucumbers. Bees oh, there's dead bees inside still? Yeah, there was bees all over this. Anyways, that seems to have worked out. And I know we did not kill the bees. We had them rehomed re to a place where, uh, to a, an apiary where they do honey and stuff. Mm -hmm. Look at all these. Look at all these. So these are my Kratky cucumbers. And I'll probably do another video when it's time to harvest and eat them. But they look really, really nice. And like I said, I really recommend the Kratky growing method. It's like the easiest thing I've ever done. You don't have to deal with dirt. You know, as long as you can mix master blend. As long as you can... You found a giant one? Yeah, as long as you can mix the right... Whoa, look at this one. Did we already see that one? I don't know, but it's oh no. pretty big. Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's let it grow a little longer. Uh 
let's see how big these get. Uh, anyways, as long as you know the you can monitor your plant water levels and uh, make sure the plant doesn't run out of water, um, this Kratky method works quite well.